Welcome to the Hashmark Show right here on YouTube. Appreciate it. This is the Monday edition brought to you in part by Rudy's 1705, uh, 17501 Homewood, Illinois. This is late. This is late, guys. Okay, so first and foremost, um, happy Halloween to everybody. It, it's Halloween night right now. Uh, I think it's 1115 Central Standard Time right now. And uh, we had a ton of trick-or-treaters come through this year. Um, and trick-or-treating was interesting this year. Uh, we, we, you know, we saw a lot of people. And, and trick-or-treating is really one of those things where you get a good sense for the neighborhood, you know. You also get a good sense for people who live outside of your neighborhood. Because remember, what, two, three years ago, I guess it became very popular to, like, drive your kids around other neighborhoods for some reason. And I'm going to open up with this Halloween story. So hang on. Hang tight. It's the Monday edition. By the way, we got a lot to cover today. And I'm telling you right now, uh, we were on the Chicago Bears, didn't cover. We were on the Philadelphia Eagles, they covered. That was good. Uh, and then we got to talk about Chris Ireland, who had the Bears covering. They didn't cover. Uh, Ricky Parlay had his death game in there. Uh, you know, listen, it was just, it was just freaking chaos running around yesterday um halloween the weather was decent you know we're in the midwest so we had some decent weather no rain uh we did get some rain pulling up to that day but i don't know i had we had the bowl out we got a lot of compliments on the 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 the, the kind of the studio setup which was cool but uh anyways here's the story get to the damn story dave so we're um in i'm inside putting the kids down for bed and i've got some family over you know there's some people in the garage they're hanging out they're just you know doing their thing and I come back out and we're about an hour, hour and a half past the time it's supposed to be done. You know, it was like two hours. It was like five to seven central. And, you know, I come out and it's like 840. And my table's still outside with the candy on it. Candy's almost gone. And I'm like, yo, guys, you got to shut this down. Like it's over at seven. And there's a family out in my driveway just taking pictures. They're just taking pictures of, like, their kids. Then the mom who was taking pictures had me snap some pictures. So I took some pictures, right? That's the nice thing to do. That's what you do when you're a neighbor or not even a neighbor, but you're just a nice person, right? This is all happening in my driveway. So I take the picture. And normally after you take a picture, people leave, right? They just leave. Spitting all over the place here. Well, they didn't want to leave. They didn't want to leave. They, um, they were in my driveway for about another 15 minutes. So as this is going on, again, there's a family in my driveway taking pictures. At 8.40, and trick-or-treating was over at 7 p.m., so that's where we're at. I go, in, I'm in the garage. We got the screen, the pull-down life cycle screen. Everyone's going to see it, by the way, on TikTok. I'm doing a video on it. You haven't seen this life cycle screen that I have. It's it's money. People love it. And so um, I'm like, yo, you got to shut this stuff down. Like we're in a garage, you know. And so the, 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 the people put their keys in like their purse on a table. I got to take the table down. So I took the tablecloth off. Now I'm giving like signals. Like it's you got to go. So I come back in the garage. And my family's telling me they've been out here for 20 minutes prior to you coming out. So now they're on 40 minutes. Now I'm getting mad. They've been here for 45 minutes for what? Um, so I finally take these people's personal belongings off my table and put them on the driveway. I'm like, okay, you guys got to go. So they're one of these in the cars. They're traveling around in different neighborhoods. Um, and they're in the middle of the street, got their hazards on. And I, I go to close my garage and I can't because the little laser beam, you know, at the bottom of the garage, you can't go through it or whatever, um, is, um, is, 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 is unplugged, the electric, for some reason. Somebody kicked it. So now I got to go to manual. So I pull the thing down. I pull the screen. Or excuse me, I pull the garage door down manually. I lock it. Another 20 minutes goes by and I go to pull in our minivan into the home. Like we're done for tonight, right? I don't know. 
This just happened, what, an hour ago? I get the van in. And as I'm going outside, though, they're still out there. Okay? They're, 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 in, a, they're in the street with their hazards. Now, we live on a main road. And as I'm pulling the van in, they leave. Like, what were they doing? Were they staking out? Were they scoping what I had in the garage? Are they coming back? Is this a home alone situation? I'm on high alert. I keep looking over here because I don't know if someone's coming back right now. I got the door to the studio over here. I got the big door. Are they coming back tonight? Gosh, call the police. Uh, also tonight, uh, it's Halloween. It's spooky, right? So teens fled the scene somewhere in our area and, and, and ran into a, a, a place that I like to go to. Destroyed. Call the insurance. Halloween night. Anyways, Halloween, Halloween, football, NFL. Let's jump right into it. Uh, remember, we always talk about and only talk about the money games uh, every week. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We just ramped up. We're going to start and go backwards this time because uh, the Cowboys and the Vikings just finished up. I'm sure you saw the uh, TikTok video we did on Cooper to Cooper. What was that about? Oh, my Lord. Are you are you? Are you kidding me, Jen? No, no. Cowboys beat the Vikings 20 to 16. Cooper makes a sensational juggling catch. It hauls in the winning touchdown. That Dallas game was just, just, just ugly. Which tomorrow night, the Monday night game, Chiefs, Giants, what do you do there? Are you going to stick with are you going to stick with the dog and how the dog's been covering? Or is this outright big win tonight by KC? Probably staying away. All right, let's go reverse order. Saints, Bucks. That was my, I think, close to my money line of the week. We were on the Saints. That covered uh, and won. Sprinkled the money line, 36-27. What a game. Um, what a plan they dialed up. And the Saints, Saints barking. Unfortunately, Jameis Winston injured. More on that later. I don't have any intel on that. Washington Broncos. Broncos win 17 to 10. Teddy Bridgewater, uh, he had a good game. And I think he found uh, Melvin Gordon um, for a Broncos touchdown at one point. So I, I, I'm not doing fantasy, so I'm not in all the plays. If there's one thing you're going to appreciate about us, we're pretty what I call garage high level NFL, which is basically all you need, though, seriously, because you, you don't need any more than that. Like, you don't even need to watch the games. I talk to people about this all the time. I see I keep looking over there because I think they're coming back. And the door's locked. Um, so that that's something that you, you got to pay attention to. You know what I mean? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Can we get back on track? Where are we at? Okay, cool. Washington, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Jaguar Seahawks, 31-7 Seahawks route. I was totally wrong on this game. That was one of my money games. I had, listen, I had the Jacksonville Jaguars. To win that game how ugly was that i was like oh the seahawks are down another jaguars are terrible it was such like a chalky play i got too cute with that one patriots chargers i was right on the money there uh i didn't i didn't have a money game in there but uh, we're talking about the other league i mean we pick every spread every game patriots 27 24 everybody and their mother on the chargers ah they're off the bye come on are you kidding me uh, Rams Texans as as delivered. That was really the only one I really liked from a favorite perspective. Uh, Rams thirty eight, Texans twenty two. That went a lot closer than it seemed. It could have been worse. I don't even. I remember the Rams were up really big early. Uh, Jets Bengals. Kudos to my man Marco D'Angelo uh, out in Vegas. If you don't follow Marco, please follow him. His strategy. I love to follow his strategy. Uh, and I think this was his sandwich, his sandwich game of the week. He loved the Jets and kudos to, to, to Chris Ireland. CI. He was all over it too. Um, he actually had the Jets. I think that was part of his money game as well. Tennessee and the Colts. Ireland like Tennessee. I like the Colts. Unfortunately, this line was so dirty. Three, three and a half. Took the Colts at home. We should have had it. Unfortunately for Tennessee, it looks like our boy um, Henry's out for the season. Eagles-Lions money game, big one for us, 44-6. 
Uh, I'm telling you, that was the easiest one on the board for us. Steelers plus three and a half. Uh, Hashmark League picked them three and a half. Steelers, Browns, 15 to 10. The final look like the Browns were going to run away with that one, but they didn't hung in there. Bills, Dolphins. I mean, are you kidding me? They covered. I was right. Uh, they didn't. But the way that happened, that game was unbelievable. And it was really playing out to be, you know, typical Bills Dolphins. Uh, but, you know, hey, it's still it's still all good. Panthers Falcons 1913. Sorry, that was riveting stuff right there, was it? I heard something out here. I was like, what's going on? It is true paranoia Halloween night tonight. Uh, Panthers Falcons. This was part of Rick's death game. If you guys haven't uh, seen that, go check it out on TikTok. Rick had a death game uh, because Ernie Johnson, uh, God rest his soul, his son passed away at 33 uh, on Halloween Eve on October 30th. Again, rest in peace. Uh, you know, Ernie Johnson, big fan of him. I'm going to take a moment of silence here just for two seconds before uh, I go back on that. All right, Ernie Johnson. I love him on TNT. Um, and Rick, you know, Rick pointing out some really good things, right? And it wouldn't have worked out anyways because Houston ended up winning uh, tonight as well. Uh, so there's another game there in the World Series. Uh, Atlanta Braves lead that series three to two. So uh, if you haven't checked out the death video, go check it out. I'm not going to go any more into that. But that one lost for Rick. That was a big game. And it looked like the Falcons had a really good opportunity to win that game. Uh, but man, they just blew it. The blunders. Uh, and again, 49ers bears. Are you kidding me? We were all on the bears plus four and a half. It looks so good. All game. Justin Fields, phenomenal play. The kid's going to be good. Maggie. Oh my Lord. Um, that, that one field stumble for the 22 yards was, was just unreal. We're going to cover that on the show later this week. 49ers bears. 33-22, 49ers win, and the bears do not cover. So it was an ugly day. Packers Cardinals, obviously Thursday night. Uh, 24 21 Packers win. Uh, the money picks. Uh, Rick went one and four. Uh, we got a lot of TikTok coming out. He went against his, uh, he oppied his mom who loved the box. So we're going to go, you'll see all that later. But uh, um, I try to skim through these games. We didn't really miss too much. Deshaun Watson on the trading block, or excuse me, Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Jackson. I think Deshaun Watson's in court right now. No, I have no idea. Uh, and then, yeah, we've got Monday night, uh, tomorrow night or tonight, depending on when you're watching this, uh, Giants, Chiefs, Chiefs at home. That line is sitting at, I think, 10. Can we get an updated line here for the people, for the people here on Monday, Monday morning, Jen? Well, I don't have it. It was at 10, 10 and a half. I don't know. Maybe it's back on a nine, nine and a half. People are probably, um, I would imagine, steaming the Giants tonight. But, you know, quite honestly, at this point, you know, I know on the show I said Giants. I don't know. The Chiefs might get this one just because, you know, do you really see all these dogs covering and then you're going to you're gonna do it with an ugly team and the Giants? But listen, I say this every week. Look at the Cooper Cooper video on TikTok. It, whatever you think is going to happen. So I think that the, giant, the Giants are going to cover as crazy as that sounds. So the Chiefs roll. Or no, do I think the Chiefs? Yeah, if I look at this on paper, I'm like, oh, the Chiefs destroy the Giants, right? Last week, the narrative was, what's wrong with the Chiefs? Mahomes got his head cut off. That's why I lean Giants. Like, just take the Giants and just, it, it, it's, it's the Ricky Parlay primetime dog. Is that dead? We're going to talk to Rick, though. I, I said I was going to call him. We're not calling him in on time. We're, we're done here. Um, can we ever get three straight weeks where we're like three, four and oh, like where somebody's just seen, it? I feel like, I feel like I am seeing it. Um, but I guess I'm not, um, check us out this Thursday. We've got a guest on the show. First, uh, first guest who do we got. It's uh, money making picks. Let me pull them up real quick. If you guys aren't following these guys, this is going to, by the way, this is the first guest uh, we'll ever have on our show. We reached out to a couple people. Uh, but the first guest that we have on the show this week is Money Making Picks. I, these guys, these guys, um, that we were telling them a couple weeks ago, they're really hot. Um, they started to cool off a little bit, had the Chargers. I think or no, they had they had the Cardinals. Yeah, Cardinals on Thursday. 
Packers covered. They had the Chargers. New England won. They had, I forget who I was saying. But anyways, it doesn't matter if they're hot or cold going into this interview. We have them coming on this Thursday and this Thursday show. Because um, one of the things that we're going to be doing on the Hashmark show is just interviewing people on TikTok who make picks. Uh, and we're going to go over a couple games with them. And then we're just going to talk to them like real people. Hey, how'd you guys get into it? How long you been doing it? Uh, and things like that. Because post NFL season, that's what we're going to be doing probably once every, um, I don't know, once every other week. We're going to try and get as many TikTokers um, who are creators out there who are, who are uh, putting content out there, whether they're Fade, Fade King, Book It with Trent, um, and their whole crew. They, they got a great podcast going on. So, uh, you know, the, and then I think the week after making money picks, we've got, um, wait, who is on the list here? After money making picks, we're talking to Lock City Bets. They're coming on the program. And then we got, we got Gary Mead or Gary Mad. We've reached out to Gary, this guy. And this is why we do it. This is hilarious because Gary, every time we post picks, he just like sends us a, 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 a little cat, you know, a, a post. He, he, he comments and just tells us his record. It's like, he's begging us to like talk to him or something. So I'm like, dude, like, give me some thoughts on these freaking games, dude. You know, like here's, what's not going to happen. I'm not going to buy your, your picks. That's for damn sure. So anyways, uh, shout out to Lock City Bets too. Those are my guys. Uh, again, uh, consistent, consistent winners. So thank you. And uh, that's it. That's all we got today. So we're really out of here now. All right. We'll see you guys this Thursday on uh, the NFL show week nine. Can you believe it? See you guys later.